Yo, hey guys, Ken Perryman here, and I am, well, I'm not back with another product, but I've got something that's kind of interesting and I want to experiment with. I am totally grasping at straws on this one, but I want to show you something right here, and it is this guy right here. It is this Seagate hard drive. Now, this is a one terabyte hard drive, and in it, it has this connection, right? It's that uh, extended style, super USB, whatever you want to call it, USB, with the little double loops, whatever. Again, that's 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 the official technical jargon call of it, right? No, not really. And I just can't, it just escapes me. But the point is, is you 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 do have those types of cables those are fast cables they've got a lot of they're a lot faster than the USB style A they do move a lot of data back and forth um, but everything is USB C now everything just like this guy right here right this Lacey right it's got a USB C this is a spinning hard drive just like this guy what I believe is going on is that there is something like this this is also a spinning hard drive with some connectors here at the front side where you put you plug in your connector and I think with this thickness you probably got a little bit of room to play in there and they probably stuck some stuff in there. Now, I do have those types of hard drive enclosures that you can put around one of these, and then you can pull the data off of it and use it as you please. But in this case, I'm wondering, is it simple enough to go ahead and open this up, take, I hope, is <laughs> one of these in here, pull it out, disconnect it, hopefully it's not hardwired in, and then put it into one of those cases that I was talking about, and go from there. Now I have a USB-C, and I don't have to worry about trying to find this wire, because I almost rarely never use this hard drive. Now, why do that if I just go out and buy an inexpensive hard drive? because why not? I have it. I use it. The extra cable, I'd rather use a USB-C because they're universal across the board. So let's figure this out. Now, playing around, I feel that there is a little something right here. Now, I know that I've probably voided the warranty, even though this drive itself is about seven years old or more. Okay. Now, what I love about this is that's that's nothing. I was assuming that that might have been a screw that would keep this mostly together. Yeah, it just appears to be another piece of plastic. Okay. So option two is to feel around the case, see if there's a way to pry this open. And I got my little handy dandy. You know what I do need is I need an... Oh, wait a second. Really good set. Did a review on it, run an initial unboxing, and I am a big fan. So I've got this little pry tool here, or a really kind of cool super small butter knife. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to find a place where I can pry open, start to pry open this box. That's what I thought. There should be things that are just sitting in, just popping it in. One last little bit. Okay. And these were all popped on. And that's exactly what I thought it might be. And there is the drive. Let's see if I can pry you out. I can. Cool. Okay. Now that's interesting. That is very interesting. All right. We are getting somewhere. So it's just as I thought it was. It's a nice little spinny spinny style of hard drive. Still not bad. Obviously you have spinning and moving parts in here, which means eventually it will fail. Oh my gosh. This is going to be as easy as I think it is. Okay, so they got this wrap in here. It's obviously some sort of protection. Oh, they've got the screws. So you can take these little screws out. That's what popped off. These are just guides inside the case to kind of hold it into position. But you can take these screws out. But I'm hoping that... Yes, this will wiggle right out. Oh my. And you know what this is? This is a standard hard drive. Now, give me a second. I'm going to show you one of the cases that I do have. Now, this is one of those, take an internal hard drive and turn it into an external hard drive. And now what I have in here is a Samsung hard drive. Uh, this is an SSD. So these are faster than these guys down here. Not as fast as NVMEs, but they are quite fast themselves. So I really like this drive. We will use it here in a little bit, but let me see. Yeah, it won't fit. So we've got to break out our screwdriver and so I'm going to go ahead and break out my bigger one right there get you out make sure you fit there you go let's put you in turn you on to low and oh it's got a little torque on it now what's nice about these little screws if you want to these are guided screws basically for a set where where it's just using it just to guide it into position you can use these well probably not those but you can use another set if you want to like mount this inside of your computer case and they are in there good cool all right set that aside you know i've made a bit of a mess yeah now this should just pop right into place once i get it set just right there it is and now cover the top with the correct side there of course can yeah boom and snap it into correct position there we go we're locked in <coughs> Sweet. So, so basically I now have a hard drive with a USB-C connection. Sorry, wrong side over here. I'm going to give it a shot. So actually what I am going to do is because I can do this capability is how do I, how do I do this? I, I'm going to eject my T5. Yeah, I'm not even using it so I can eject it. Boom. There it is. All right. So I now have a blue light that is lit up. It is now flashing and it is what I used to call it. It was called a video two terabytes. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over and it's going to be over here. 
Boom. That is the name of that drive. So I have done, oh yeah, <laughs> I know that this is it because I used, my YouTube channel used to be called Camp. It was played on, it was back in the time when I was worried about if anybody knew my name and now I really don't care, but it was play on Ken P. Ken P, Ken P, Ken P, you know, Ken P, whatever. Okay. So it's, it was silly, but that's what I thought, right? So, but this is all my videos from, yeah, from that. I don't, oh, I see. <laughs> I did a video where I fixed the toilet flush. Actually, it was on a friend's house. I remember that. That was some time ago. So yeah, uh, but the point is, is look at that. And it matter of, I was being inquisitive and I was being cautious because I wasn't sure how this would necessarily work. All it took was for me to find the position to pry into this, find the right spot to pry, pop these off. It probably took me all of like five to seven minutes to do all of this. And I have a functioning hard drive that I have taken out of the case that looks just like this and have connected it to a container, an enclosure, if you want to call it, uh, where I can pull data and information off of it. And I don't have to go and find the dang cable that fits this thing anymore. I can actually throw those out. So guys, I hope this was helpful for you. I really do appreciate your time and I'm out.